Welcome to West Deptford Sports fans for tonight's final game of the season. West Deptford hosting the Eagles of Egg Harbor Township. For our final 
finishing up the consolation format here. West Stafford looking to get its third win of the season. Egg Harbor Township has one win on the season. Looks like they got good size over there though at the EHT sideline, bigger school, played some bigger opponents. West Stafford of course coming off a tough loss at Del Rand last week against the Bears. But of course these games provide the opportunity for younger players to get some experience and of course ideally end the season on a win on a positive note. Got our captains going to the midfield here for the final time of the season. Got number eight, Corey Ratcliffe. Number 52, Ty. Number six, James Gorman. And of course, number two, Zach Google. Thursday night game, band getting ready. Play the national anthem as the captains are Doing the coin toss. Long ride, of course, for Egg Harbor Township in the consolation game. It's like West Deptford will receive to start the game. Gonna be wearing the, the black uniforms tonight with the black pants. Egg Harbor Township going with the white jerseys on as the uh, road team. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, can I ask everyone to please rise, remove your hats as we honor America as the award-winning 10-time Tournament of Bands champion West Effort High School Marching Band presents our national anthem. Jersey Football League contest and in the interest of good sportsmanship, proper conduct will be observed by all participants, coaches, officials, and spectators. They need to abide by the conference rules will result in an ejection. A further reminder, there is no smoking anywhere on the high school property. And now a state Jersey trying to it's best to create a true state champion in past years, of course. It's not for the uh, sectional final, but by this format now, it allows teams to play a couple extra games, and those teams that don't make the playoffs leaves a few weeks open, and so you find some consolation games. And with that, also when eliminated the Thanksgiving game. So EHT's kicking off. Looks like Mike Simeon here kicking off for Egg Harbor Township. Back to return for West Effort number 11, James D. Rossini. And number 26, Zamir Davis. Game set to begin, 6.05, got a squib kick up the middle. 
Picked up by De Rossini, finds a little bit of space. Pushes forward, still on his feet, out past the 44-yard line. Going to be brought down at about the 50-yard line. Good return there by James De Rossini. So first and 10, West Deptford on the 45-yard line. Brady Cobb under center, starting quarterback throughout the season, sophomore year. So they gained a ton of experience here for West Deptford. Actually, that's number two. That's actually Zach Google under center here. He's going to come out different formation, going backwards to De Rossini, giving the senior the start here in his last game at quarterback. So Norman, no gain on the play. center. Hands off to Zamir Davis. Out to the 50 yard line. Brought down on the play by number 52 Tyler Durham. 5'10". Sophomore. Gain of five on the play. He's going to bring up third down and five. Again, under center. Decides to keep it, comes around the end. Still on his feet, out pet brought down at about the 41 yard line. First down, Jack Eagles. Picks up the first down, West Deptford. So it's going to be first and 10, West Deptford on the Egg Arbor Township 31 yard line. 41 yard line make that. Google under center. Diversini in motion, takes the handoff on the end of rounds, got a blocker out in front, out past the 35 yard line, down to the 30. Tackle from behind by number 14, Isaiah Seaman. First down, Eagles. So West Deptford off to a good start here. It's going to be first and 10 now on the 30 yard line, 9.30 remaining here in the first quarter. West Stafford, of course, has struggled at times offensively this year. Lacks the big play capability. Google under center. Hands it off to Lorman. Brought down at about the 25, 26 yard line. Gain of about, gain of about four on the play. Good first down yardage there by Lorman, who's uh, leading the team in yards this year. Lorman coming in. As a senior, five foot nine, hundred seventy pounds, not your biggest running back, but he runs hard. Showed a great ability this year to break tackles and uh, always tends to land forward. So second down and six. Diversini also in the backfield to the left of Lorman. Fakes the handoff, is going to keep it. Google on the outside, still on his feet, breaks the tackle, still going out to about the ten yard line. A couple missed tackles there by Egg Harbor Township. It looks like it's going to be first and goal, West Deptford. First and goal, West Deptford. be first and goal at about the six yard line. It's a good gain there by Google. Make that the seven. So first and goal from the seven. West Deptford started this drive with great field position on the De Rossini return. Right. 
Hands off to Zamir Davis, still going. Brought down with a gain of about two on the play. He's got first and second down and goal from the seven from the six yard line. Second and goal from the six. Google under center. Diversini in motion. Inside handoff to Zamir Davis. Cuts back inside. Toes to the goal line. Brought down and at the one yard line. It's going to be third and goal from the one. Good run there by Davis. It's a third and goal here. Stepper bringing in some more linemen. Number 62, Tyler Sims. Number 63, Shane Cruz entering the game. See if Google sneaks it here. So you got Andrew, like a wishbone formation here. You got Ty at fullback. He's going to get it. Plunging forward, waiting for the signal. Touchdown, Eagles. West step there. Impressive drive, 55 yards, 648 remaining, up to 6-0 now. They're actually going to keep it, looking inside here, but we do have a flag on the play, probably a, a formation penalty. Yeah, you got it looks like an illegal shift being signaled. Yeah, it's going to be on West effort, so again, trying, that, trying to sneak the play. If they get numbers, they run it. Most likely now Cook will be on for the extra point. Senior Cook here, done a great job so far this year in his first year as the kicker. Snap a little low, but handled well. Let's see if that kick goes through. Does it have the distance? And it does. Just over the goal line. Wasn't the cleanest exchange there. But Andrew Ty scoring his first touchdown for West Effort. Coach giving the senior the opportunity there on the goal line. So it looked like they went wishbone. Ty in the fullback, and he plows forward for the touchdown. You can see Coach Jacobowski there giving him a hug. Got the old school white West Effort. Jacket on. It's a great start here for the Eagles. Of course, this is Coach Morrell's final game here as the head coach at West Effort. Coach Morrell's been moved to, or it should say moved, took the job, applied for the job, got the job as the West Effort Middle School principal, so going to get the promotion. And of course, going to be impossible to do both jobs at the same time. So next year, West Deptford will be guided by a new coach. Of course, still to be determined. But it would certainly be great for the team to give Coach Morell a win on the way out. Cook set to kick off. Squib kick, takes a good high bounce. Back and forth, eventually hit on the play. Looks like we might have a fumble on the play. West Effort signaling that the ball is on the ground. Waiting for the official signal. Well, the ball's in West Effort's hands, and it is a recovered by Isaiah Bailey. So again, good squib kick there by Cook. Takes a high bounce. Caught by the up man, 
looked a little undecided in which way to go and took a big hit, fumbled the ball, recovered by West Efford's Isaiah Bailey. It's going to be first and 10 on the Egg Harbor Township 35-yard line, already up 7-0. Google now coming back in. It's in shotgun. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff. off he's got a hole up the middle, finds space, plunges forward out to about the 27 yard line. About an eight yard gain there on first down for the Eagles. Stepper going to be deliberate here, taking their time. Bit of strategy, it seems, so far this year. All right, second down and two. Google. Diversini in the backfield. This time handed off to Zamir Davis. Cuts back inside, brought down at about the 25. It's going to be a first down, Eagles. So again, West Stepford. Moving it about seven, eight yards of play here against the Egg Harbor Township Eagles. In motion, Diversini. As the ball cuts back inside. Still on his feet, still turning, still going. Brought down at about the 13. Again, James DeVersini has been uh, incredibly effective this year. It's been rare that the first guy has been able to bring him down. Played with a tremendous amount of toughness so far for the Eagles. So a solid nine yard gain here on first down. It's gonna be second down and one. Google and shotgun. Everything been on the ground so far for West Effort. Fakes the handoff. Runs it to his own man, still plunging forward, but he's going to get the first down for West Effort. Looks like he's brought down at about the 11 yard line. So it's going to be first and 10 from the Egg Harbor Township 11 yard line. A Stafford methodically moving the ball up the field. Let's see if Coach Morell gives Google the opportunity to put the ball in the air here. Samir Davis. Tracked down from behind. Good penetration there by the Egg Harbor Township defense. Forced Davis to go backwards a little bit and eventually he's tracked down from behind for about a one yard loss. It's gonna be second down and eight. So again, inside the 10 yard line, but they do have the chance to get a first down here if they get it down to about the two yard line. Shift here by West Effort. Lorman in the backfield. Google's going to keep it, tries to cut back inside. Egg Harbor Township there waiting for him now. Tackle on the play by number nine, Mike Simeon. So a short game for West Effort. It's going to bring up about third and seven.
Vince Morrell giving Google the play. Third down and six. Google under center. Steve Arsini in motion. Inside handoff to Zamir Davis. Egg Harbor Township meets him at the line of scrimmage for no gain. So a decision here for Coach Morrell. It looks like Cook's heading on to the field. Probably the right call here. So you're looking at about fourth and nine. So Coach Morrell looking to make this a two-score game here in the first quarter. So it's going to be uh, about a... 26 yard field goal here for, for Cook. Brady Cobb on the hold. Uh, flag on the play, let's see. He's got a false start on West Effort. It's gonna push him back five yards. It's going to push him back five. Now they're going to be on the 14-yard line. That'll make this a 31-yard field goal. Cook's got the leg for it, though. Good hold by Cobb. Line drive kick. And good. So Cook coming through here with a big, big field goal here in the first quarter with a minute 12 remaining. West Stepford takes the 10-0 lead. So able to get three points off of that turnover from Egg Harbor Township. All right, so a minute 12 remaining. West Effort having a good first quarter here, looking to finish the season off strong. Of course, as we said, big story tonight, Coach Morrell's last game. You can tell already he's going to be the seniors a good shot here with Google at quarterback and giving Ty, his friends call him Tiggy, the chance to score a touchdown. Senior Cook gets the field goal here, so 10-0. Class of 2024 holds strong tonight. Cook with another line drive kick. Looks like they're gonna let it roll out of bounds, which is probably a smart play. First and 10, Egg Harbor Township at the 35 yard line. So first time Egg Harbor Township has been on the field, their offense at least. It's got a reverse handoff there, number four, Keeman Council. Able to get out wide. Quarterback for Egg Harbor Township is going to be Bradley Smith, a six foot three, 180 pound senior. So Egg Harbor Township gains five yards on the first play from scrimmage. It's going to be second down and five. Head coach of Egg Harbor Township is Rob Davis. So second down and five. Bradley Smith under center. Hands it off. Brought down immediately. Council is tackled from behind. Looked like Isaiah Bailey tracked him down from behind. 
It's going to bring up third, third down and six here for the Egg Harbor Township Eagles. Third down and six. Smith in shotgun. Council to his left. Two wide receivers out to the right. Takes the shotgun, looking to his left, going deep. He's got a man half a step behind, but slightly overthrown. Going to be incomplete. It's going to be fourth down, and it looks like Egg Harbor's going to punt here. Diversini back to return for the Eagles. 17 seconds left here in the first quarter. Both teams getting organized. And our, uh, our boys soccer team, which won the Colonial Conference, is uh, now in the South Jersey final. So it's a sports fan alert Saturday morning, 11 o'clock, against the Delran Bears. Of course, a traditional powerhouse, but it's going to be a good game this weekend. West Effort's coming in very strong, winning the Colonial Conference, beating an undefeated Cedar Creek team in the semifinals. So West Effort definitely has the talent this year to beat Del Rand. Should be a barn burner. So if you got nothing going on Saturday morning, shoot up the Del Rand. Maybe get a breakfast at the diner and watch those Eagles pull off the upset in South Jersey Group 2. Second quarter now underway. Smith now in shotgun. Looking to his right. Throws a little quick slant across the middle. It's going to be completed with space in front to Bryce Jackson. B big gain on the play there for Egg Harbor Township. It's going to be brought down at about the 16-yard line. So first down, Egg Harbor Township. First and 10. Ball on the 16. Council in the backfield. Brad Smith, that quarterback. Low snap on handles. He's looking quick to count out wide. He's well covered. Good containment out wide, but he's able to actually get outside. It looked like Kwan Lane had him, had him wrapped up there, but Council does a good job getting outside and getting pushed out of bounds at about the about the nine yard line, so it's going to be first and goal for Egg Harbor Township. Actually, check that, it's going to be second and three. Must have stepped out of bounds a little bit earlier than I thought here. So, second down and three, ball at the nine yard line. Council in the backfield, Smith quarterbacking. Got a flag on the play. This looks like it's going to be offsides on West Effort. Yeah, he tried to jump the snap there. It was a little bit too early. Time out here. Of course, this will be the final game for our cheerleaders. Marching band is still, of course, going to continue to compete in their Atlantic Coast Championship pursuit of their 11th championship. Well, Kenny Loggins, Danger Zone. Maya Waiters leading the band this year.
So it's first and goal now from the five yard line here after that offsides penalty. So West, first quarter was all West Stafford, but again, a fumbled snap, bad exchange, couldn't quite tell what happened there. Has given Neg Arbor Township some life here in this first half. So first and goal from the five. Brad Smith under center. Actually, it looks like he's gonna be a direct snap here to count, so he's gonna push up forward with a burst. Touchdown, Egg Harbor Township. The hole opened up and Council hit it quickly, so Egg Harbor Township takes advantage of the West Depp for turnover, marches it right down the field with success, scores the touchdown to narrow the West Depp for lead 10-6. See what uh, Egg Harbor Township does here. All right, so they've got number nine is going to be their kicker, Mike Simcon. Hands it off, going to fake it, cuts back up the middle. Two point conversion is good. So it's a trickery there by Egg Harbor Township, and they're going to narrow this to a 10 8 game now. Both teams, of course, don't have much to lose here tonight, so not afraid to pull out some tricks here. So 10-8 to 8 now, West Effort. Again, a turnover gives Egg Harbor Township life. So again, for a team that struggled this year, if they can motivate it here to try to get that road win to finish off the season. So West Effort's got an important drive here. They've got to answer. 11.07 left here in the second quarter. Solo here tonight, of course. Uh, my usual partners, Coach Dixon, has uh, been up top working with Coach Morrell here, coaching the freshman team this year. This will also, of course, be Coach Dixon's last game here at West Effort. He has been uh, you know, on the West Effort football sideline for a long time now, and uh, if anybody knows Coach Dixon, he's just a tremendous coach at everything he does. So this is his final game. He's up top helping Coach Morrell on the headsets. Mr. Scarato apparently had a big uh, cornhole night. You know, they have uh, some sort of tournament somewhere, so he couldn't make it either. All right, short kick picked up by Google, brought out to about the 45-yard line. So, again, West Effort's going to have good field position after a kickoff. Let's see if Google stays in at quarterback here. Looks like he got the play call from Coach Morrell. First and 10 here, 45 yard line. Remember hits, the temperature's down in the 40s. Wind has calmed down from yesterday though. Stafford getting organized here. Google moving the troops. Got a timeout, West Effort. Looks like there was too much disorganization there. So Coach Morrell is going to call a timeout. So with 10-10 remaining, West Effort has used two of their three timeouts here in the first half. Next football game on this field will be about two weeks from tonight. It's actually going to be on a Wednesday. Our powder puff game will take place here. Juniors versus seniors, as always. That's the tradition. But my understanding, talking to Coach Seeley today, is that they're going with some uh, traditional flag football rules. So uh, it's going to be a smaller field, a little bit more narrow. There's going to be no blocking, no trenches. So they're going to go a little bit more traditional flag football. So... 
Stop by. Watch that game in a couple weeks here. All right, so Google back in, under center, takes the hand off to Lorman. Matt immediately at the line of scrimmage by number 16, Xavier Kochi. Gain of about three on the play. It's going to bring up about third down and six. Last two possessions, Egg Harbor Township's defense has gotten a little bit more rigid here. First two drives, uh, first drive of the game, West Effort was probably getting close to eight, nine yards of play. Get the quick turnover and stalled out inside the 10 of Egg Harbor Township and kicked the field goal. All right, so facing a third and six here at midfield. Fakes the handoff, Google coming around, he's got a blocker in front of him. Pushes his way forward past the 45. First down, Eagles. So good individual effort there by Google. So it's going to be first and 10, West Deptford on the Egg Arbor Township 44-yard line. Eight fifty-four remaining in the first half. Google under center. Hands off to Zamir Davis. Has some space. Protects the football. Plunges forward for a gain of about nine. It's going to bring up second down and one. Now we've got second down and two here. Spotted down after an eight yard gain. Inside hand off to Rashid, a quick cut inside, still on his feet. Breaks the tackle, still going. Brought down at the Egg Arbor Township 12 yard line. First down, Eagles. Great run there by James DiVersini. Of course, DiVersini, the odd combination. Physical football player, wrestler, and golfer. And not just an average golfer, one of the best golfers in the area. First and 10, West Deptford. Google under center. Hands it off to Davis. Met immediately behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a loss on the play for West Deptford. So for Zamir Davis, a very promising freshman. You know, I've been doing these uh, games in some capacity for over 20 years now. And there haven't been too many freshman running backs. In fact, I can't think of any that have had the number of carries that Davis has had this year. Coach and staff is very high on him. And really high on the uh, underclassmen in general. Freshman team had a real strong season. Word on the street is we've got some strong eighth graders coming in. So looking to build off of this year. So it's going to be a loss of one on the play. Google takes the snap. Hands off this time to Lorman. Cuts back inside. It's going to be brought down at about the 10-yard line. Tackled by number two, Zion Woodford. It's going to bring up third down and eight for West Deptford. Google ready for shotgun. Diversini to his left. I'm sorry, Diversini motion takes the handoff. Diversini. Bottled up, cuts back inside, but good job there by Egg Arbor's defense. And so West Stafford's got a decision to make, and it looks like, looks like Cook is entering onto the field here. Going to try to connect on the second field goal today.
All right, so Cook on for the field goal, Cobb on the hold. Good snap, Cobb on the hold. Blocked by Egg Harbor Township. It was a jailbreak there. They recover the football at the 21 yard line. So again, another mistake here by West Deptford. There were at least four Egg Harbor Township players there busted through the line. So it's gonna be first down Egg Harbor Township. West Deptford, again, failing to finish with a touchdown in the red zone. It's gonna be first and 10 from their 22 yard line it looks like. Well, Stepper holding on to a 10-8 lead, an odd score, but. All right, so first and 10, 5.05 remaining here in the first half. Council takes the handoff. Brought back for a loss. Good job there by West Deptford's defense. Looks like Zamir Davis was the first one there. He lost on the play, so West Deptford's defense needs the answer here. Second down and 11, 424 remaining, clock moving. Brad Smith, quarterback for Egg Harbor Township, getting the backfield organized. Fakes the handoff, roll to his right, throws it upfield, overthrown. It's gonna bring up third down and 11. Just a little too much on that ball. All right, so big third down here, third and 11. Egg Harbor Township here has gained the momentum in the second quarter. All right, it's gonna be a timeout here by Egg Harbor Township, but this will be a good opportunity for West Effort. West Effort uh, received the ball to start the game here, so ideally get a stop, try to put up another score as you go into halftime here, feeling good about it. All right, back on here, third down and 11, 4.06 remaining in the first half. Big play here early in the game. Looking to his left, he's gonna let it go. Connects, but dropped on the play. Good pass there by Smith, but dropped on the play, which would have been a huge gain here for Egg Harbor Township. So fortunately, West Effort gets a break here, and uh, they're gonna punt with DiVercini set to return. First punt wasn't too far. Maybe not be a bad idea for Deversini to move up a little bit. Four or one remaining. High snap. West Effort almost there. All right, Deversini perfectly placed here at the 50. Doesn't call for the fair catch. Almost loses it, but is able to maintain. So a brave catch there by DiVersini, but almost costly. He's able to hold on to the ball. And so he's going to be brought down right where he caught it anyway. So probably, you can tell when you watch DiVersini play, he wants to make plays. Uh, probably would have been the more prudent decision there to just take the fair catch. But regardless, 
First down, West Deptford at midfield. Good field position here, 351 remaining. Important here to get a score with Egg Harbor Towns from getting the ball to start the second half. Here's the handoff, cuts back inside Zamir Davis. Best run of the night for him, runs over the secondary here. Finishes the run out past the 38 yard line. First down, Eagles. Three twenty-six remaining. Clock moving. Google under center. Hands it off. Lorman hasn't had a ton of running room today for him, but gains a yard on the play. Second down and nine. Second down and nine, 244 remaining. Google under center. Again, a little bit of confusion. Diversini now moves to the left. Lorman behind him. Hands off to Diversini, but tackled immediately in the backfield. Number nine from Egg Harbor Township, Mike Simeon, a six foot, 225 pound senior, makes the tackle. Gain of about. Loss of about three on the play. It's going to bring up third down and 11. Let's see what Coach Merrill looks to do here. It's looking like a passing down. Google hasn't aired one out yet. This isn't two down territory for West Deptford. Corey Ratcliffe out wide. Google here, shotgun. Not ready for the snap, hits him in the chest. He's able to recover it. So wasted opportunity there for West Effort. They're gonna have to punt here, looking at about fourth and 16. Some miscommunication there by quarterback and center. The Frank Harper Township smart move. Let's see what Egg Harbor Township does if they go for a block here. They already blocked an extra point. Good snap. Clean kick. Ratcliffe kicks it away from the return man. Bounces back. Fumble, smart play there just to jump on it. But end result works out good for West Effort. It's going to be down at about the 16-yard line. So minute 26 remaining here. Egg Harbor's got a lot of field in front of him. All right, so we go over Township, down two, 10 to eight. Second quarter, minute 26 remaining. See what they look to do here. Smith under center. Fakes the handoff, sacked, oh, on the play. Still on his feet. Like Brandon Lockery, if my eyes are Lockery there on the on the sack. He was there quickly, just held on. But now with that loss and the, they call a timeout, it looks like the clock has stopped with a minute nine remaining. All right, now the clock is moving. 
Let's see if Egg Arbor Township just takes a knee. I mean, at this point where we are in the season, I'd probably just go for it. But they're really wasting some clock here, so it doesn't look like Egg Harbor Township's in any rush. We'll take this two-point deficit and some momentum going into halftime. Takes the snap. Thrown and complete. This time that wasn't Smith there. That was number 16, Xavier Kachi. A six foot, 195 pound freshman. So it completes the pass out to 40. And again, Agarber Township wasted a lot of time there prior to that snap. He's got the freshman here at quarterback. Takes the snap, looking to his left, throws it up, nice spiral, good coverage on the play and intercepted by West Epford. Kwan Land there with the interception. So with 17 seconds left remaining here in the first half, Egg Harbor Township turns the ball over. And the Eagles will take over on their own 30. That's first down, West Epford. First to 10, Eagles. Cobb in at quarterback. Might indicate that they're looking to throw here. 17 seconds left. And again, consolation game here. Wouldn't be surprised if you try something. Takes a handoff roll to his left. Brought down immediately. by number five, Calvin Johnson. So that'll be the final play here in the first half. So West Deptford going to the break with the 10-8 lead over Egg Harbor Township. Egg Harbor Township, of course, will be starting the second half with the ball. So stay tuned and watch our West Deptford Eagle Marching Band. You can see our West Effort High School marching band's wonderful halftime show. Yeah. 
Now presenting for your halftime entertainment, your 10-time Atlantic Coast Tournament of Bands champion, the West Shepherd High School Eagles Marching Band. Under the direction of Mr. Thomas Kershaw Jr. and led by drum major Maya Waiters. The marching band would like to thank the West Effort High School administration and the West Effort High School Board of Education as well as the residents of the township of West Effort for their support of all of their musical endeavors. And now they proudly present their 2023 program entitled The Machine.
Stay frosty, bro.
was like, I'm pretty sure it's when everybody gets back on the Yeah, as soon as they get over the <laughs> Because <laughs> by the time I get to the school, it's probably a minute and a half, two minutes. Plus, everybody down there, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, of course. Yeah, that's yeah. how I was. I was like, you know, I got here, I got here at 5 o'clock. I was like, hey, 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 hey. I'm going to go upstairs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the second half. Get your green 50 50 tickets out. The winner of tonight's 50 50 is holding ticket 9 3 2 8 0 7. You've got ticket 9 3 2 8 0 7. Come on up to the window. I will hand you your winner. All right, welcome back for the second half of tonight's Hank Harper Township West Effort Contest, Battle of the Eagles. For those of you who have just joined us, West Effort got off to a quick start, scoring on its first drive, then immediately got a, a fumble recovery on the next kickoff and, and kick, got a field goal out of it. Since then, Hank Harper Township has grabbed the momentum, uh, scored a touchdown uh, after a West Effort turnover. So it was a tail two quarters as we start the second half. Ryan Cook kicking off. Of course, again, final game of the season. Both teams looking to end on a high note. All right, Cook set to kick off. Line drive kick. Caught at about the 30-yard line. Returned to about the 37. It's going to be first and 10. Make that the 38-yard line here for Egg Harbor Township. First and 10. Hands off the council, bounces outside, close to the sideline, push out of bounds. Pile still moving forward. He's going to be close to the first down here. Waiting for the spot, he definitely got it. So it's going to be a first down, Egg Harbor Township, gain of about 11. West Stafford lost containment on that one. So council showed some speed and some bounce here for Egg Harbor Township so far in this game. Brad Smith at quarterback, fumbles, able to fall on it, so it's going to be a big loss here for Egg Harbor Township. Lost of about seven or eight on the play here. Makes it 
Hey, Garber Townsend's had a little bit of success throwing the football so far today. Second and 16, fakes the handoff, play action. He's got some time. He's going over the top. He's got a man out wide, but out of bounds. And he had a couple of receivers standing pretty close to each other. So that's going to bring up third and 16. Smith getting his guys organized. Step, it looks like they're going to blitz, and they do. Picked up. Smith rushed to throw a little bit, didn't have his feet set, so he, an overthrow there. Wasn't even going to be close to a first down anyway. So it's going to be a turnover. It's going to be a stop here by the West Effort defense, and DiVersini will be set to return for West Effort. High snap, punter does a good job of getting it, getting it off, and it's going to take an Egg Harbor Township bounce and then goes sideways at the 28-yard line. So Smith, the quarterback, also the punter, does a good job of getting that ball off. So first and 10, West Effort. First and 10 from the 28 yard line. Google in at quarterback. Hands off the Lorman. Brought down pretty quickly, not much room there. Gain of about two on the play. It's going to bring up second down and eight. Google under center, takes the snap. Hands off again to Lorman, met immediately at the line of scrimmage. Hasn't been much there. So no gain on the play is going to bring up third down. So again, Egg Harbor Township, not, got quite a bit of size. Got number 74, Matthew Cable, uh, jun uh, junior, 6'5", 277. Of course, you got number 77, Noah Holiday, senior at 6'2", 270. Some big bodies in the, on the line here for Egg Harbor Township. Demir Davis takes the handoff. He's going to get brought down about the 34-yard line, well short of the first down. So West Effort unable to move the chains here. Punting team is on. Ratcliffe set the punt. So Harbor Towns, we're going to burn a timeout here. Congratulations to West Ever High School Cross 
country runner Taylor Turchega and Izzy Mackey will be competing in the NJSIAA Group B state championship this Saturday at Old Dell Park. Good luck, ladies. So uh, West Effort again set the punt. Again, cold night here at uh, West Effort. See some of those guys in the sideline look like they're pretty cold. So Ratcliffe set the punt. See if EHT goes, oh, we got the hard count here from West Effort. That might have got it done here. I think like Harbor Township is ready for the, uh, ready for the block. Let's see what we got here. Coach Egg Harbor Township lobbying his case. All right, we're gonna have a false start here against West Effort. False start called against West Effort. See West Effort try that from time to time. Going to bring up fourth down and nine. Eight eighteen left here in the third quarter. Looks like they're flooding the right side of the line of scrimmage here. Good snap. Great punt here by Ratcliffe. It's going to land at about the 39. Trying to pick it up here, but tackled immediately on the play by number 11, James DeRosini. It's a good coverage there. It's going to be first and 10 on the 39-yard line. First down and 10. Quick pass out wide, complete. Tackled immediately on the play by Kawan Land. So Smith's pass caught immediately by my number 12, Julian Reyes. It's going to be a big loss on the play. Yeah, this was a little behind him, slowed him down. And by the time he even caught it, Kwan Lamb was waiting for him. So nice tackle there in the open field. It's going to pick up second down and 16. Big snap. He's looking straight ahead. He's got a man open across the middle. Misses him. Tight window there, but the pass fall is incomplete. Davis went for the diving interception. It's going to be third and 16 here. All right, third and 16. West Effort looks like they're going to blitz, and they do. Got to reverse that wide, contained inside. Good job there by West Effort's defense. Eventually brought down on the play by Andrew Ty. So big, big play defensively there for West Effort. Cameron Simpkins was the man defensively who made the first initial contact, but it was Andrew Ty that cleaned it up. So. Fourth down and 22. Smith now set the punt. DeVersini back to return. So field position favoring West Effort so far in the second half. Both teams struggling to move the football. Low snap. Gets it off quickly. Lands at the 50. 
Rolls out of bounds at the 48 yard line. So great field position here for our Eagles. First and 10 from the Egg Harbor Township 48 yard line. All right, first and 10. West Effort holding that 10-8 lead for a while now. Plunging forward, maybe a gain of the, a, a yard here. So West Effort again, hasn't had a whole lot on the interior of the line tonight. Got a little bit more success bouncing things out wide. That was Google on the carry there. They've taken a stinger. All right, so gain of maybe a half a yard on the play. We'll call it second down and nine. Around Samir Davis cuts back inside. Good job of containment by Egg Harbor Township. So he's going to be tackled for a loss on the play. It's going to bring up third down and 11. 5.05, .05, clock moving in the third quarter. West Effort trying to get something going. Google under center. Takes the snap. Takes the handoff. They're looking right. He's got a man wide open over the top. Slightly underthrown, but caught on the play by Ratcliffe. Down to the five. Touchdown, Eagles. Great concentration by Corey Ratcliffe. So, Google's first pass of the evening goes for a touchdown. Big score here from West Effort. 16 to 8 lead. Of course, a kick the extra point here would make sense. remaining in the third quarter. It's a big play there by Ratcliffe. And seniors contributing tonight. Ty with a running touchdown, Ratcliffe with a touchdown there, Google with the pass, and of course Cook with the Field goal, so seniors putting them up, putting the points on the board tonight for West Effort. All right, Cook set to kick off. Good kick. Caught at about the 15. Decent return out to the 31 by number four, Keeman Council. 
First and 10, Egg Harbor Township at the 30 yard line. Hands off the council, finds a little bit of space. First, brought down from behind by Zach Google after a gain of about six on the play. Second down and four here for Egg Harbor Township. Shotgun, Smith takes a snap, hands off the council again, trying to get out wide. And does, cuts it back up field with some space. Out past the 50 to the 45, brought down at the 43 yard line. So big gain on the play by Council. So Keenan Council, the five foot seven, 175 pound senior, off and running so far here in the third quarter. First and 10. Smith in the shotgun. Takes a snap, hands off the council. Cuts back inside. Fumbled on the play, the ball's on the ground. West Stafford looks like they've got it. And they do, huge turnover here for West Stafford. Google's got the ball in his hands. So again, council was on the... <laughs> council was... Uh, with momentum there, back in the secondary. Lockery gets him from behind, strips the football, Google's up with it. So West Deptford football at the 36 yard line, costly turnover here by Egg Harbor Township. Hand off that wide, trying to get to the edge. It does, big block on the play, out past midfield, Zamir Davis. So pushed out of bounds at about the 44 yard line. Brandon Lockery with a big block there to kind of spring it out wide. First and 10, West Deptford on the Egg Harbor Township 44 yard line. Looking to make this a two score game. Lauer. Again, not much going on there for Lorman. So again, the interior line of Egg Harbor Township doing a good job stopping Lorman, who's been the leading rusher so far for West Effort this year. Second down and nine. Inside hand up to Zamir Davis. Met immediately at the line of scrimmage for no gain. It's going to be third down and 10 here for West Effort. Done a good job so far at Harbor Township of containing him, forcing him back inside.
Google rolling left. Let's it rip, throws it high. Tempted to number three, Isaiah Bailey. It's gonna bring up fourth down and 10 here. So it looked like a promising start to that drive, stalls out. Two runs for no gain, an incomplete pass. And Ratcliffe set the punt for West Effort. John Lazos back for Egg Harbor Township. Great kick here by Ratcliffe. Lazos catches over the shoulder. That was an adventure. I gotta give him credit. That's a pretty good catch. It's gonna be Egg Harbor Township football. First and ten at the thirteen. To his right, decides to keep it, tucks it in, gains about two on the play. Going to bring up second down and eight. Second down eight inch shotgun. Takes a snap. Drops it down underneath. Still on his feet. Gain of about five on the play. It's gonna bring up third down and three here for Egg Harbor Township. 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Third and three, Smith in the shotgun. This time he hands it off. Trying to cut back inside, got his feet wrapped up. Well done by West Efforts defense, Zach Google. is going to come up short, it looks like. So the coach, Egg Harbor Township, is going to have the decision to make here. I know it's deep in their own territory, but they're looking at about a fourth and a half a yard here. They'll have some time to think about it as we're in between quarters. So at the end of the third quarter, West Effort holding that 16 to eight lead. Oh, they gave him the first down on that. Man, I had him short up top here. Hey, how about a round of applause for our WPHS marching band? All right, so they gave him the first down on that play. So it's going to be first and 10, Egg Harbor Township. Hand off the council. 
Cuts back inside, brought down at about the 32-yard line. Ratcliffe on the tackle. Gain of uh, eight on the play. Make that seven. It's going to be second down and three here. So, again, big weekend coming up for West Effort Sports. Our girls field hockey team, the number one seed in group one, is going to be competing against Collingswood in a semifinal here, West Effort, 2 o'clock on Saturday. Smith takes a shotgun, low snap, handles it. Able to get it off immediately to counsel under pressure. It's going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage. Good defense there by West Effort. So, as I said earlier, the boys' soccer team in the South Jersey final at Del Rey at 2 o'clock. I mean, sorry, at 11 o'clock. That game ends. You can race back here to West Effort and watch your field hockey team compete against Collingswood in a South Jersey semifinal round. Third down and three. 10.43 remaining. Hands it off to Council. Bounces outside with space out in front. He's got one man to beat. He's still on his feet. Tripped up on the play by number 26, Zamir Davis, with a touchdown saving tackle. But a big gain here for Egg Harbor Township. It's going to be first and 10 on the West Deptford 23 yard line. So the biggest gainer of the night for Egg Harbor Township. First and 10. Look at the slip, that little slip screen that worked for him earlier, but not this time. Sniffed out properly by West Deptford's defense. Brought down by number 56, Van Galbraith. And again, first half they ran that play for a pretty good game, but Van Galbraith read that play. Gain of one, so it's going to be second down and nine. All right, Egg, Egg Harbor Township calls timeout. Egg Harbor Township takes their second timeout of the half. All right, second down and eight, coming off the timeout. Hands it off, cuts out wide, space again. Burst up the field, tackled at about the 11, make that the 10 yard line. It's gonna be a first and goal here for Egg Harbor Township. So Keenum Council's having a big game here for Egg Harbor Township. Side handoff trying to bounce out. Still on his feet, but brought down at about the four yard line.
Hands off again to Council. On his feet, pushing towards the goal line, but coming up short. Third and goal from the two yard line. Smith under center. He's going to keep it. He's pushing forward. Looks like he got stood up at the line of scrimmage. I don't think he got in, and the signal is he's short. So this is going to bring up fourth and goal here with 7.36 remaining. Right, so we got fourth and goal here. Looks like Google's coming off the field. Lorman sprinting on. It's a pivotal play here. Direct snap, fumbles the snap. He's in trouble, he's gonna try to get outside. And does it, so drop snap, crucial mistake here by Egg Harbor Township on fourth down. It's gonna be a turnover on downs, West Effort football at about the 15 yard line. Huge mistake there by Egg Harbor Township. First and 10 from the 14. Inside, Diversini looking to get out wide, it does. Out to the 20, 25, 30. Out to the 35, cuts back inside. Still on his feet, got a blocker in front of him. Brought down from behind at about the 26 yard line. So huge run from scrimmage there by James Diversini. Hand off to Zamir Davis, trying to get out wide. Lorman out in front with the block. Gets there, but a good play defensively by Egg Harbor Township to get through the blocker and tackle Zamir Davis for a very short game. 6.25 remaining, clock still moving. West Stafford holds the 16 to eight lead.
So gain of about two, it's gonna bring up second down and eight. James Norman, then again at the line of scrimmage. Gained about two, though. Clock still moving here, 537 remaining. Third down and seven. Clock moving, 4.58 remaining. Now you got a timeout here by West Efford. Milk the entire clock down. Yeah, so we're at the 22 yard line. So we're still looking at about a 39 yard field goal here for Cook if, if they were stopped. I think he's got the leg for it. But we'll see what uh, Coach looks to do here if he's going to. Run the ball, keep the clock moving, force that Garber Townsend to use a timeout and see if he got he has the leg for it. So see how he manages the game here. Right, so back from the timeout, third down and seven. Google under center. Roll to his right, he's got a blocker out in front. Google still on his feet, getting out wide. Appears to have the first down. I'm not right on the angle here. But the chains are moving, so big first down here for West Deptford. Had a lot of success with that play here this evening. So first and 10, West Deptford on the Egg Harbor Township 14 yard line, 440 remaining in the game. Google under center. Hands off the DRC, trying to get out wide. Brought down from behind, well defended this time by Egg Harbor Township. Second and 10, 345 remaining. Hand off to Zamir Davis, cuts back inside, tackle from behind after a gain of about four. So West Stafford looking at a third down and six here. Doing a good job now, grinding out the clock. Got themselves in field goal range. An injury timeout. A situation, West Deptford up 16-8, 3.09 left here in the fourth quarter, facing a third and six. 
West Zephyr's able to get the first down here. It's al almost all but going to win the game here. So otherwise, if they don't get it, you bring Cook on here for about a 27-yard field goal, and that should ice the game and make it a two-possession. Right, clock is now moving. All right, Google and the shotgun. Big play here. Burning down the clock. Mitch Davis in motion, he takes the handoff. He's going to look to throw, it looks like, but he's going to cut back inside. He might be wrong here. Come on, the, it's on the far side of the field, but he's certainly not going to get the first down either way. So now it comes a fourth down here. So about a fourth and five. We're looking at about a 26-yard uh, field goal from the right hash. Coach Morell looking to maybe just grind the clock out and then make the decision. Talking to the referee. Looks like what he's going to do. 202 remaining, clock moving. Gonna let the clock wind down, then make his decision on what he wants to do here. That's exactly what happens. Calls timeout. See Cook walking onto the field now. That, again, the, the right decision here. We'll see what Coach Brown wants to do. You never know when you're in a consolation game if you want to maybe go for the gusto here, put it away with a touchdown. But in any way you look at it, a field goal will do just as much as a touchdown here. And you've got a greater percentage of kicking the 25-yard field goal. So Cook is on the field. I guess the other side of it, too, is uh, they've blocked two extra points so far. So they're going to have to get their uh, blocking squared away here. I'm going to that factored into the decision. But they've had them coming in unblocked. Kick is up though this time. We do have a flag on the play here. It may have been off sides. Trying to wait for a signal. It was movement by uh, Egg Harbor Township prior to the snap, but it's going to be a false start against West Effort. So big penalty here. It's going to push him back five yards. And that kick looked to be good. All right, so Cook set to try again. High snap, blocked, and out of bounds. It looks like we have another flag on the play. This one's going to be off sides against Egg Harbor Township. So get those five yards back. Kicking game has been an adventure tonight for West Effort. So Ryan Cook, field goal, take three. Good snap. 
Kick is blocked again. So, Agar Township has blocked two extra points in a field goal attempt here so far tonight against West Deptford. So a little bit of a life here for Egg Harbor. Minute 37 remaining. He's gonna get the ball at the 18 yard line. So they got a lot of field ahead of them. I don't believe they have any timeouts, otherwise they would have used one to stop the clock prior to that field goal. So they got a long field here for the minute 37. West Depper now is going to call a timeout. Get their defense organized, their situational defense here. Stafford timeout, minute 37 left, up eight, trying to finish the season with the third win of the, get their, get their third win of the season here. Thursday night football. Go home tonight and watch some more NFL football. I believe you got the Steelers Titans tonight in NFL matchup. All right, so big stop needed here. Minute 37, looking to get Coach Morell a W. Finish out this run, his tenure here as the coach. Fakes the handoff to going over the top. He's got a little bit of a step, but it's going to be incomplete. So a slow developing play, but actually had a chance on that one. So the incomplete pass will bring up second down and 10, minute 29 remaining. Second down and 10, Smith and shotgun. Takes the snap, scrambles forward. He's going to keep it this time, take some field with his legs. Gains about 13, 14 yards on the scramble. Stops the clock as he goes out of bounds. So seven seconds lost on the, used on the play. Oh, we got a flag. It's going to bring it back. Penalty's going to make it second down and 20. So costly penalty there for Egg Harbor Township. Looked like they had good value there in regards to time loss and yards gained. But unfortunately for them, they got the holding call. So second down and 20, balls on their own four-yard line. Let's see if West Effort can get the sack here and put this game away with a safety. Looks like a screen pass, incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and 20. Not a bad idea, poorly executed there by Egg Harbor Township. All right, third down and 20, minute 18 left. Smith looking back, lets it rip. He's got a man open, caught at the sideline, still on his feet, but brought down inbounds. <coughs> Good gain on the play out to the 32-yard line, but Egg Harbor Township doesn't have timeouts. 
Oh, we got another flag on the play? Hold up, we have another flag. Putting down at the 10 yard line. They're indicating it's gonna be an ineligible man downfield, which is gonna bring this back. You can see the coach from Egg Harbor Township's frustration. I mean, interesting call on a play that was pretty quickly thrown. Usually you see that call on a screen passes, slow developing plays. Off the quarterback scramble where Lyman might get up the field a little bit, but a uh, big penalty again. It's going to make it third and 22 with a minute seven remaining. On their two yard line. Third and 22 on their own two yard line. Step, just trying to keep it in front of him. We got a little pressure falling down, thrown. We've got a possible in interception here. Wait for the call. A referee is calling it incomplete. Kwan Land disagrees. <laughs> Tries to sell the call, but the referee is on it, calls it incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth and 22 on their own two yard line. All right, so this could be the final play of the game here for Egg Harbor Township. Fourth and 22 on their own two yard line. West Effort just keeping things in front of them here. Beneficiary of two penalties here on this drive. Egg Harbor Township has itself buried deep in its own territory. We got a little bit of a blitz stepping up. He's got some time, throws underneath. He's got a receiver caught out to the 20 yard line, but tackled short of the first down. So this is going to be a turnover on downs. West Stepford football, 54 seconds remaining. This should all but seal it for West Stepford. So West Stepford most likely going to take a knee here to finish out this game. So Google in at quarterback, 54, 54 seconds left. First and 10 on the 20 yard line. Victory formation here, gonna take a knee. Takes the knee. Gonna have to snap the ball one more time here. Thirty seconds remaining. Clock moving. Again, this will be the final snap of the season here for West Deptford. Google hesitates, takes the knee, and Coach Morell clapping hands here. Finishes up this run here. West Deptford with a victory, sixteen to eight over Egg Harbor Township. Good competitive game here on a Thursday night. Final score as the horn goes, West Effort 16, Egg Harbor Township 8. So West Effort's going to finish the season with three wins. Seniors, of course, have a good run here. And, of course, for Coach uh, Morrell. I'm sure we'll still be seeing him around here at West Effort football over the years. And, again, thank you for all of you watching tonight. And we'll see you next season here on WDTV. Have a great night. Every season, and let's go!